There are approximately 250,000 people, in Americans, living with spinal cord injury today, and approximately 11,000 injuries every year, new injuries that occur every year. But what belies these statistics is something more profound, and, and that is that uh, these patients are at the prime of their lives. The average age is at 30 years old. These are individuals who lose everything that they have, essentially, their way of life. When I tell a patient that uh, he or she may not walk again um, after a spinal cord injury, it's, it's, it's actually devastating for me as well. And, and that's why this is a passion of mine. We're trying to enable patients to um, walk after spinal cord injury and to utilize their um, hands after spinal cord injury. In a laboratory setting, we've found that actually the spinal cord is a very intelligent organ, contrary to what people previously have thought. Um, it, it actually has memory, it actually has, it has ability to um, stand, and also um, picking up an object. They're all encoded in the spinal cord without any brain input. We're utilizing chemicals or agents that can enhance uh, the function of the spinal cord so that's more responsive to the signals coming from the brain. Uh, that signal is interrupted, but in the majority of the cases, it's not 100% broken. So I'm tapping into that uh, circuitry so that spinal cord can be more responsive to the signals coming from the brain, so that spinal cord can um, respond better to the, to the diminished signal coming from the brain. There you go, that's it. Another exciting arena that we're operating in is that we're utilizing stem cell therapy. We're actually utilizing stem cells injecting into the site of injury to regenerate or regrow the spinal cord. Two, three. It's very unusual for a neurosurgeon to be involved in physical therapy or rehab. But we're there every step of the way. My ultimate hope is that I can offer the patient the ability to regain their lives. In the future, imagine for these spinal cord injury patients, we no longer have to tell them that they're paralyzed for the rest of their lives. This is our hope for every single patient with spinal cord injury who comes to us at UCLA.